<laughs> Hello family, welcome back from an eventful weekend, very exciting weekend if you ask me. Here on Showbiz Now, we're bringing you all that happened over the weekend in the world of entertainment. As always, this is Showbiz Now, my name is KMJ. I was born to talk. Welcome to the show. So let's talk about some local news and collaboration with Sakari as possible says the manifest. Guess what? Ghana's number one entertainment station hits 103.9 FM brought fans of the God MC close to their artists than they could ever imagine at the first edition of Solo. Now, patrons that did not only jam to songs from manifest but had the rare opportunity of asking him questions which he gladly answered. One of the key moments of the event was when Marco Krikumante of the Hits FM, the program's director asked him if he would feature his rival Sakodia on his next single. Now after pausing for some few seconds, Manifest directed the microphone to the crowd and asked, what do you guys think? He revealed that his next single is however ready and it features Nigeria's Olamide. Here it is. What do you guys think? But I am imagining two king of rap on one song. This one would diss the other on the first verse, the other one would diss the other on the second verse, and they'll still do the song together. That'd be interesting, don't you think? All right, so let's anticipate that. Away from that, I am focusing on the positives of my new music. Uh, Fender says uh, Kitty. Nana Jamina, known by performing name Kitty, is a Ghanaian highlight and Afrobeat singer songwriter who recently released his new single Fender. Now, his new single has brought a lot of controversies with regards to the chorus. Some people believe that Kitty has cast himself because of the lyrics in his music. However, Kitty has said that he is focusing on the positives and not giving any attention to the negative comments. Battling with anybody to be very honest i made a conscious effort never to address that issue because that is what he thinks and he's entitled to his opinion um those who love kitty the fans of kitty everybody out there who's supporting kitty i'm focusing on the positive and making sure that they are pushing my music i'm not trying to give any ear or attention to anybody who is trying to bring my work down this is my work and this is what i do to make people happy so i'm not trying to give that attention to anybody i'm just focusing on the positive and i'm pushing my song I don't trust Kitty. In other words, he says that if you actually accuse him of anything, thunder fire you. Now, let's get into a movie premiere and Bad Luck Joe premieres October 5. In case you don't know about it, Michelle Atom makes a comeback in the latest movie written and directed by Ramesh Jai titled Bad Luck Joe. The film premieres at the Silverbird Cinemas in Accra on October 5. Now, it features celebrated names such as Michelle Atom, Sika Ose, Chris Atom, as well as songstress Atoma. Now, the story is centered on the characters Joe, Abinazuri, Elizabeth, and other people who get entangled in the power struggle between two widows. Here it is. Questions that need answers to who buries the former Minister of State, millionaire and industrialist Mr. Patapa? Two warring wives. You must prevent her from coming in foot two inches near your father's body. And who inherits his properties? I will never allow this old Egg claim my property. One missing body. News just in. The Patapa case takes a shocking turn. We lost whose dead body? Mr. Patapa or something? Pita, pita, pita yeah, pita something like that. Yeah. Where is the dead body? There's a dead body working somewhere here. <laughs> dead body! And a man fighting for his love. Joe, I'm leaving you. Anna, I'll change. Huh? I'll do anything that you want me to do. Oh, would you like to make some money? Money is very important in a happy marriage. Tomorrow, Macho and I are coming for the rent. I don't want to pay you. With money, you can travel anywhere, can buy anything. Joe, 24 hours, or I will report you to the police. <laughs> Wish I get them. I don't like it. God punish you, Joe. Yes, yes. You are there with a macho man. There are three of them. 
mature slap. From the makers of Six Lovers of Melody. I want justice. I need justice. Incredibly talented actors, exciting storyline you might just want to check out. But one thing I know is dead men don't talk. Away from that, let's get into some foreign news. And we're talking about Adrian Brown, a band from Uber, after going berserk on driver. And Adrian Brown terrorized his Uber driver, and now he is paying the price. He's been banned from using the app ever again, all because his, uh, uh, the passenger from hell, TMZ Sports, has learned. Now, the boxing star captured his out of control ride on his on social media earlier this week trying to turn up from the back seat when drake and travis scott hits a sickle mode turned and actually started playing now Bronner leans over and unleashes a full-throated scream right in the driver's face before grabbing the volume knob and turning it to the max now then he actually started widely dancing while the driver tried to focus on driving in the rain finally the driver has enough slams on the brakes and pulls the car over demanding Bronner and his crew get the hell out of the vehicle immediately a rep for uber tells as company officials looked into the incident and decided Bronner's behavior was unacceptable and his access to the app has been revoked and here guessing his uber rating sucked anyway and so there's a lot to talk about let's check this out up that shit bro can we turn up a little bit go back bro i went back go back We gotta go a little bit further. I'm sorry, no. What? I can't. Man, what you doing? <laughs> <I'm sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Sometimes I feel our celebrities here should be doing things like this. Like Sakwade and Aruba, they start screaming like they say, <laughs> what is going on? All right, so that's what it is. But let's talk about the box office and check out the top 10 Robert Downey Jr. movies. We started from 10, now we're getting to 5. Uh, Tropic Thunder 2008 is our number 5. But the academy is about that shit. <clears throat> Wait. About what? You're serious? You don't know. <laughs> Everybody knows you never go full retard. Uh, number four is Iron Man 2008. Spider-Man Homecoming 2017 is our number three. I did listen, kid. Who do you think called the FBI, huh? Do you know that I was the only one who believed in you? Everyone else said I was crazy to recruit a 14-year-old kid. I'm 15. No, this is where you zip it, all right? The adult is talking. Captain America Civil War 2016 is our number two. What's going on, Cap? It's just pain. It's discomfort. Who's putting coffee grounds in the disposal? Am I running a bed and breakfast for biker gang? Oh, that's Charles Spencer, by the way. And then our number one is the Avengers 2012. There it is. It's a stabilizing agent. So I'm just saying, take a weekend. I'll fly you to Portland. Keep love alive. Means portal won't collapse on itself like it did at Shield. No hard feelings, point break. You got a mean swing. Also, means the portal can open as wide and stay open. All right, folks, it's been a profitable 10 minutes. I come back at 12 with 30 minutes. We have a sit down. We have a conversation coming up right here on Showbiz Now. And as always, many thanks to you for watching and to the production team for making it possible. And my name is KMJ, the royal host. I was born to talk. Mouth.